The name of the band came from uh, when I when I was a kid. I was like the local the local bike fixer in my area in Ballymun. Uh, and all the kids would bring their bikes from, from all around the area to, to my garden. Our garden was pretty easy to find because we had like a really bright yellow shed in the middle of all these kind of black sheds. I, I decided to paint it one day when I was a kid and it really sort of stood out. But we sort of became known as the, the house with the frames, with all the bicycle frames in the garden. So that, the kind of fixing bikes thing sort of indirectly sort of uh, was responsible for the, for the band's name. Uh, because I just thought the frames was a kind of a, was a, was a cool idea and it sort of was born out of that. I don't feel like a songwriter in the traditional sense. It's not something that I really apply myself to at all. I wouldn't say that I really have a sort of a, a, a point of inspiration. When, I, when I've got sort of time off or whatever, or, or kind of a sizable amount of time off, I can sort of come out and just sort of do this. And, and uh, these are the sort of days when, when um, inspiration can strike at any moment. Um, uh, otherwise, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, these, these it's more it's, most of the time it's more likely that you're going to come up with a, with a good idea while uh, while while out here fixing this or or uh, painting a wall than you are if you're walking along a beach uh, with a beautiful sunset. Um, or with a beautiful dog. Yes. Well, this might take a while This song with Seven Day Mile, I remember an evening very well being in the studio with Dance the Devil. And uh, it got to a point uh, with Binzer, our drummer, where he was really unsure about what way the band was going. And he had kind of uh, expressed a want to kind of go into a more kind of rock uh, vein. And a lot of the songs that were coming in were very mellow. I have a choice in this. It's a world I've come upon. I remember one evening he went home. Uh, quite early in the evening and myself and the rest of the lads had this big talk and we kind of came to the conclusion that uh, he wasn't happy. And I remember we just sat with myself and Joe and Colin were just sitting in the studio like messing and, and, and I just started playing this riff and uh, the, pretty much the whole song came within the time period of, of jamming out the song which was like sort of four minutes or whatever. Pretty much predicted that Binza would move on, and, and basically, I guess the song is an encouraging thing, sort of saying, Well, you know, it might take a while to figure out or whatever, but you don't need to be in this band, but maybe you should be in some other one. So, in a way, the song is kind of saying to him, You know, we wish you luck. For as many listeners uh, to the song, there are as many different versions of what it, of what it means or what any song means. Nick Cave said it well when he said the songs. He said you give birth to these songs and they grow up and they go to college and they uh, they graduate and they and they they get married and they take on a whole different life than you ever intended for them. Uh, so there's so once you give birth to it and once you sing it, it's gone. It's out of your control and you have to be a good parent and let it go. For me, the best songs are the ones that suggest, and they constantly suggest an idea, and uh, it's up to you to take that idea and, and, and work it into whatever is going on in your life.